and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Weston Racing. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the 2023 Hot Wheels mainline once again. Today, we're looking at the turbo cars. Um, pardon if the commentary is a bit off today. I just got done reviewing the Warner Brothers 100th anniversary set by Hot Wheels, and that was probably the second most embarrassing thing that they have ever released next to the tuned cars. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit. Put nicely, I'm a bit peeved right now. Very, very angry. If you think my anger I had towards the Japanese JDM special series that we looked at was bad, you should uh, you should see how upset I was at the Warner Brothers thing. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be looking at these five cars right here. Five. Well, you're looking at three. We're going to be looking at five cars today. The Turbo series is all about. Uh, let's see what the package says. Crank up the boost. These turbocharged machines deliver maximum horsepower. So these are all vehicles that are meant to be just fast. Or, you know, they're meant to, they're, they're meant to. The reason why I'm confused right now is because as you notice, my pick for probably the worst car that we're going to look at in today's video is that. And what you'll soon notice is that that car compared to everything else in the set stands out so badly it's like a midget in a basketball game. Like you literally can't help but notice that it's there. It is, it's, I, it doesn't make any sense why that car is there. But anyway, horrible analogies aside, let's get into this. I am really off today and I apologize. I have just, it was bad. That last video ruined my whole day almost. It was horrible. The first car that we're going to look at in today's video is the Pagani Zonda R. Pagani was a brand that I didn't even know existed until I bought this car. I'm not even joking. I literally bought this car at Walmart, and I was like, Pagani Zonda, what is that? So I Googled it. Pagani is its own brand. I'd never heard of it before until I bought, like, never heard of it, ever. Never heard of Pagani. But, uh, yeah, we got the Pagani Zonda R. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like the design, the look of this car. I de This is one of those vehicles that I'd say I'd like, but if I swear to God, if I ever owned one of these, I'd sell it immediately because I would never trust myself behind the wheel of it. Also, I'm just not, I don't like this style of car. That's just me. But uh, yeah, the Pagani Zonda R. We have no chase piece in today's video. So let's just open it up, shall we? There it is. An absolute piece of art on wheels. Hoorah. I am losing it. All righty. Here we go. The Pagani Zonda R. We've got a white body, a black chassis, black tires with yellow rims, and a black window insert. The side panel says Zonda R with some sort of logo there that I can't read because of how far away it is. Okay, so we got the number one on the side there. Black stripe going down the side, which looks really good. This side's exactly the same, but mirrored. The front side, you can see maybe it's the Pagani logo. That's what that is. I really cannot tell. Like, it's just, it's so far away and so small. It says Fi Pi Pirelli. Pirelli. I, again, I no clue what Pirelli is. It says like Pirelli or something. You got a black detail here on the hood, black detail on the back. And then you got the Pagani logo on the spoiler there with that black bar, which looks really good. There you go. The Pagani Zonda R. I actually think that was a good car to start with. I'm not going to lie. I actually kind of like the look of that one. I like it. Again, I'm not a fan of Euro sports cars, but I think that's actually pretty, I think that's a pretty good looking car. Not going to lie. I like that. All right. The Aston Martin Vantage GTE is the next one here. Sorry, I had to cut the video there because I had to take a break for a second. I was going nutty. I, Man, whenever I see the golf paint job, it just does something to me on the inside. It's just like, okay, yeah, golf, whoop de doo All right. Um, you're going to notice there is a bit of a splatter. I know what you may think that is, but that is not what it is. This is lotion. And I, I know you think, you don't believe me, but it smells like lotion. Apparently what happened at my local Walmart, and from what I saw, this is what happened. Some absolute just moron troglodyte took a bottle of lotion and decided they didn't want it. So they just tossed it into the Hot Wheels dump bin. Well, when it landed in the dump bin, the lid came off and, you know, it spilled lotion over every single car that was in the bin. So they now all have white stains on them. It was, yeah, the intelligence of Wyoming Nights people. Um... But yeah, Aston Martin Vantage GTE. Let's get this one open so that way I can get this. I and mean, you can really see it there. It's I tried, and there was like a big glob of it on here too. I took my knife to it and scraped it all off because, you know, I I didn't want people to think that it was, you know, something really weird. That, I opened that horribly. 
Good God. I'm not doing good today, guys. Like, I am really not in a good place right now. Alrighty. Here we go. We have got a baby blue body, a black chassis, black tires with dark gray ribs, and a smoked window insert. Side panel says Michelin 99 with the Hot Wheels logo there. And Golf, we've got a orange stripe and black trim down there. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored, as you can see here. The front end has the Aston Martin logo going up to the hood. We got an orange stripe, the 99 with the Hot Wheels logo, the Golf logo, and then we've got these orange rings around the air vents on the hood there. This looks pretty good. Got some black details as well here and there, which look really neat. Nothing on the top, nothing on the back, and nothing on the spoiler. That is pretty much the entirety of that car. And there you go. That is the, well, I'll show you a better view of that. And there you go. That is pretty much the entirety of that car right there, the Aston Martin Vantage. I'm going to be honest. Um, this is actually one of those series where I was like, okay, this is going to be pretty dumb as I was looking at them in the package. Now that I'm getting them out of the package, they're all right. Like, I... I like I said, I wouldn't I wouldn't own any of these vehicles, but I don't think they're that bad to look at. I think they're actually kind of look pretty neat. This next one is interesting because I, I didn't even know this car even existed. Kind of like the uh, Pagani there. I, this is the Raynault Sports RS01. I did not know that this was a car that just existed in the world. I did not know. I honestly did not know that Raynault made anything other than their pickup trucks, the Rivians. But I guess it kind of makes sense because Raynault has been around forever. So... It doesn't surprise me that they have a sports car, but you know what? I was a little shocked. A little shocked to find that out, not going to lie. So there it is. The one thing I will say that I hate about the uh, sports cars, or the sports cars of the Hot Wheels world and whatnot, is that they don't put, and this is the same thing with the JDM cars, they almost never put years on any of the vehicles, so you have to just assume what the year is that the car is, because you don't actually know. They don't tell you. Maybe this one's a 2001. Maybe that's what the 01 is on. Or no, it's an RS01. I'm an idiot. But we got a red body, a black chassis, black tires with white rims, and a smoked window insert, which looks really good. Hot Wheels logo in black there. RS01 in black. We got the 01 there as well in that little black piece. Raynault Sport written on the uh, spoiler there. And we got a bunch of white stripes going down the side. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored. Same thing. Mirrored. <laughs> mirrored. Um, Hot Wheels was too lazy to put the Raynault emblem on there, typical, but on the hood, we've got the RS01 right there, the 01 written there, black hood with some white details here and there, Raynault Sport written above the window there, which looks really solid, the white roof, and then nothing on the back. The spoiler actually has something written on it. It says Raynault on the spoiler, like literally molded into the spoiler. That's really cool. And Raynault RS, there's no detail on the chassis. That is weird. It is very. It is almost never that you see a smooth chassis on a Hot Wheels car. That is weird. But yeah, there you go. That is our Raynault sports car. Pretty interesting uh, little car, not going to lie. I really like that. Pretty sweet. You know what else is pretty sweet? The fact that these cars have more detail on them than the Warner Brothers cars I just looked at. Yeah, I'm still mad about that. Next up is the 1989 Mercedes-Benz. 560 Sec AMG. I don't know if that's actually what this thing is called. You you read it yourself and you tell me what that says. I'm pretty sure it says Sec AMG. I'm 99% sure. I don't know how to pronounce it though. And like I said, this car makes no sense. Why is this car in this set? It's It just looks like a normal car. Like it's not special by any means. I don't know. Apparently in the Turbo Series a while back, we got a pickup truck. So I guess, you know, to be fair, it was a GMC Cyclone. And that's not just any pickup truck. That's the pickup truck. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Zoom, camera, thank you. All right, so here we go. We got an all-black body, a black chassis, black tires with silver rims and smoked window inserts. We got nothing on the side panels on either side, which means that all of the details should be on the back and front. And I swear to God, if there's anything that's missing, I'm going to be incredibly mad. Okay, so we got the Mercedes logo here. We've got some headlights painted in with some blinkers. That's really solid. I like that a lot. We also got a race sunroof as well, which looks really cool. Okay, here's what we asked for. On the back end, we've got the tail lights with the blinkers and the reverse lights. Looks absolutely amazing. We got the SEC AMG look sticker right there. Mercedes emblem, the AMG sticker right there, and then AMG written right there in the license plate as well. Awesome stuff. All right. So there you go. That is our like our oddball car for today's video. Also, it is probably our biggest car in today's video as well. It's huge. But yeah, there you go. That is the Mercedes-Benz. And now we've done nothing but look at real-life cars. We looked at four real-life cars. 
How about we move on to something that's a bit more fantasy based and that is of course the Fast Feline, a car that I actually really, really like. Um, and there's actually something I want to talk about with this car here. This is the final car, by the way, for today's video, is the uh, Fast Feet line here. Something I want to talk about on this car, because I think it's uh, one of the number one things I hate about the Hot Wheels community. So here it is, the Fast Feet line. We have a maroon body. This is maroon, believe it or not, in person. It's like a dark maroon. We got like a dark maroon body, white chassis black tires with golden rims and a clear window insert. The side panel has a number nine and a white circle there. Uh, I can't tell what that says, but we got some sponsors here, here, and here. Yeah, just we got some sponsors with a Hot Wheels logo and a yellow stripe. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored. Pretty cool stuff. The front end, you can kind of see the grill peeking out there. You got the nine in the circle with a yellow stripe, nothing across the top or on the back. And then here's the bottom. Now, this is the number, this is right here, is one of the number one things that I hate about the Hot Wheels community. I have seen hundreds of people ask what this little yellow thing is on the bottom, right? Now, I would assume it just, it's part of the, uh, it's part of this little yellow piece, right? The, uh, the little plastic insert for the interior of the car. I just assumed it was part of that, and the fact that it pokes out the bottom is just a cool little, like, you know, detail. But let me tell you something. If you go on a Hot Wheels community and ask what this detail is right here, you will get nothing but the worst responses ever. You will be absolutely berated by strangers, hundreds of them in groves, because apparently you're not smart enough to know what this is. It is horrible. Like I see people like literally getting verbally abused in freaking Hot Wheels collection groups because they don't know what this is and nobody, apparently nobody knows what it is and they just, you know, feel like, oh, I don't know what this is, so I'm just going to berate this random person. I don't know what it is, all right? And no, I'm not opening up the comment section for you to come berate me because I don't know what this is, all right? I've heard people say it's like a detail that's supposed to look like an oil pan, which makes sense. I think that makes perfect sense and I'm just going to run with that. But I don't know what that is, and I think it's very interesting. You know, obviously there's not many Hot Wheels cars that have a little plastic detail sticking out like that. But, you know, for some reason, I guess asking questions in a Hot Wheels community if you don't know your stuff is a sin, I guess? Like, I don't know. It's weird. It is really, 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 really weird. If you ever want a Hot Wheels community to get mad at you, post a picture of the Fast Feet Lion with this little thing right here and say, hey, what is this? I don't know what this is. You will be berated in so many different ways. But yeah, there you go. That is the Fast Feline. My favorite car in this entire video, by the way. I really do like this paint job a lot. I think it's really cool. But yeah, there you go. Let's uh, zoom out here and uh, get to the turntables. We'll close up the video. Well, there you go, everybody. That is all five of the cars that we looked at in today's video. From left to right, we got the Pagani Zonda R, the Aston Martin Vantage, the Raynault sports car, the Mercedes rich person driving to their penthouse in New York car, and the Fast Feline there. So, yeah. 
I'm gonna be honest. I think I think I needed this. This this video here, looking at these cars here, they weren't bad. You know, they weren't anything standout amazing. But I'm gonna be honest. I don't think any of them are bad. I think they're all pretty solid cars. Like I, you know, you wanted cars, you wanted turbo powered cars, and that's what you got. And I gotta say, all five of these are really good. I like them. You know, they're not bad. Unlike the you know the this video that I did before this, I think I needed this because this really calmed me down a little bit and got me back into my zen flow. But uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's great. I think the, this series actually didn't turn out half bad. I'm gonna be honest with you, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest. I really like the fast feline in here, but that Pagani over there might be maybe might be my favorite after unboxing these. It might not be the fast feline anymore. I really like that Pagani. I think it looks cool. That's just me. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you. This is the final video for the month of February. We're going into our March rotation after this video right here. So uh, the next video is going to be Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Mainline. And I am really excited. But yeah, I will see you in the next Diecast unboxing video. Peace out.